Good morning, dear students. We completed the first two stanzas of the poem Daffodils. It was by William Wordsworth, the renowned British poet, who always influenced by the beauty of the nature. In this class, we are discussing about the third and fourth stanzas. The waves beside them dance, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft, when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is a bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. So these are the two stanzas. Again, the poet telling us about his solitude, his loneliness. Throughout the poem, he is mentioning about his loneliness, how lonely he is. But the thought of the golden daffodils make him in such a big company. He is saying he is in a jocund company, he is in a cheerful company. The sight of golden daffodils taking him to another world and he is really happy about it. The waves beside them dance, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. Who outdid the sparkling waves? Golden sight of daffodils. So the waves are really nice. The poet saying the waves, it's really nice. They also dancing, but the dance of the daffodils is much more than that of the waves. So when he compared those two sights, he is saying that it outdid the daffodils outdid the beauty of the waves in the river. The poet is really happy. The, a poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. What is a jocund company? A happy, cheerful company. So he got a company with the daffodils, the golden sight, the wonderful sight, the scenic beauty which the daffodils are there, they are everywhere. The poet is really happy in such a wonderful, cheerful company of the daffodils. I keep on looking at them admiringly. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. Apart from all material wealth, I am really happy in this scene. I am really happy with the nature. That is what he is saying. So, what wealth the show to me had brought. I am really happy. I am really wealthy right now. I feel really wealthy right now because I am having the company of the daffodils. I am getting much more from the nature. Moving to the next stanza, the final stanza, the last stanza of the poem. For oft, when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood. So, I am lying on the couch. He already told us that he is lonely, he is in a solitude and he is simply sitting aimlessly on his couch thinking about the daffodils. So he is in a vacant or a pensive mood. So he is vacant, nothing there. His mind is empty, nothing else to think and in a pensive mood. What is a pensive mood? He is in a thoughtful mood. He is thinking about the daffodils. They flash upon that inward eye, which is a bliss of solitude. He is saying that it, they, it is flashing upon his inward eye, his thoughts. The daffodils is always coming to him. That much wonderful the sight was. He is telling that it was that it was such a wonderful sight, and they always, whenever I am closing my eyes, it flash upon my inward eye. I start thinking about them. I am really happy about it and which is a bliss of solitude, is something like a blessing. He was really happy, his bliss of solitude means he was really happy in his loneliness when he start thinking about the daffodils. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dancing with the daffodils. His mind, his heart fills with joy. He was really happy and start dancing with the daffodils. Oh, you already saw that the daffodils are dancing in the breeze, so the poet also start dancing along with him because he was in such a 
great mood. So this was the poem, Daffodils by William Wordsworth, clearly picturizing the beauty of the nature. So we saw how beautifully Wordsworth describes about the beauty of the nature. He is picturizing the view of daffodils in this poem. So apart from this, we can refer some other poems also. For example, Robert Faust, a renowned poet whose poem Stopping by the Woods in a Snowy Evening. He is explaining about the, the beauty of the nature. While he is traveling through the forest, he stopped in the woods in the forest and start enjoying the beauty of the forest. And in the last stanza, he was reminding himself that miles to go before I sleep. So just go through the last stanza of the poem. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. You can refer the poem, stopping by the woods in a snowy evening. You can read it out. Then you can see how beautifully the poet explains all this. So think yourself, every day, every week, every month, we have duties and responsibilities to do. So we remind ourselves that we should do many things before we sleep every day. Read the poem a couple of times and enjoy the beauty of the nature. So coming to the exercise part, you just try to uh, do the exercise. We will upload the notes in the website. Read poems, be creative, be imaginative and uh, be happy. The poet is saying, if we feel lonely, if we are alone, then go to the nature and explore it. We will definitely find happiness from the nature. That's all for today. We will meet you in the next class. Thank you.